Hi, this video training episode will show you how telecom handhold is constructed. A handhold is a shallow form of a manhole, sometimes called a service box or a jointing pit. It is a chamber enough to allow personnel to reach into but not enter for the purpose of installing, operating, or maintaining telecom passive equipment such as fiber enclosures. It is necessary for underground fiber cable routing and branching position. It is where fiber loop cables kept. We start by cutting the concrete pavement with the aid of concrete cutter. Cut according to the prescribed size. Globe telecom handhold size is 1200mm long, 900mm wide, and 1000mm deep. Break the concrete using jackhammer. The concrete cutter leaves a smooth cut on the road pavement. This will minimize damage to the road pavement. It would be better to use heavy machineries like hydraulic jackhammer truck if it is present. Carefully dig with crowbar and shovel in order to avoid damaging to existing hidden dock line utilities. But if there is no risk of damaging dock on the proposed handhold position, using a backhoe truck will ease the excavation job. Remove soil and load it to a dump truck. Cut the pavement and dig for the dock entry route to the handhold. On this scenario, the dock is laid from a micro trench. Do the same preparation for the dock entry of ducts laid through directional boring. Widen the hole enough to fit in the precast handhold. Prepare for unloading the chamber of the hole. Tie heavy duty rope to the handhold's fitting arm against the crane hook. With the aid of boom truck or crane, carefully install the precasted handhold onto the hole. Guide precast handhold movement and place to a correct position. Insert the HDPE pipes on the bell and provision on the side of the handhold. Before restoration, let's discuss how this precast handhold has been made. The advantage of using precasted handhold is that curing time is less on site, hence, will lessen time to restore the hole along the road. In an open yard, construct boxing mold that will contain the steel rebars and concrete. Follow correct rebars plan for the slab and sidewall. This is the rebars plan standard. Reinforcing steel yield should be 60,000 psi. Reinforcement bars with kinks or bends should not be used except where bends are specified. Welding the bars are not permitted. Annealed steel wire should be used to make ties. Reinforcement bars should be clean and free from rust. Provision handhold requirements such as bell ends, pulling arm, and sump. At the bottom of the handhold, there is a sump. Any water that enters into the manhole will drain out to the sump. Set all these things to the molding box. Prepare concrete mixture. The standard ratio is one part of cement, two parts of sand, and three parts of gravel. Mix all together with water to the concrete mixer machine. Pour concrete mixture onto the handhole molder. Compact concrete mixture that every space should be occupied by the aid of rod. Set aside some concrete mixture and put it on a cylindrical concrete sample mold. The compressive strength of concrete upon testing should be 4000 psi. If the road is not too busy, no traffic and the right of way allows distraction to stay for a longer period of time, an on-site made handhold can be constructed. The reverse and mold is assembled on the actual site and installed straight to the hole. Unlike precast, the concrete mixture is poured straight onto the hole. While pouring the concrete, compact the mixture by steering a rod. This is how the on-site made handhold looks like after concrete pouring. Wait for 3 days for the concrete to get hardened. Remove the boxing molder after the concrete has been cured. Tamper the soil backfill if there is any hole space out of the handhold. Place the handhold cover frame on top of the handhold. 
Restore the whole. Mix concrete mixture. Place mixture in a container like a steel sheet or plywood to protect the road surface. Start filling up the space. If the road was covered with asphalt, leave a level surface for the asphalt finish. But if the road surface is concrete finished, fill up the whole surface level with the same concrete mixture. Fill up gaps and spaces inside the handhold. Finish the wall surface with concrete. Prepare tools and handhold for accessories to be installed. These are the mounting loop holders and grounding rod. Start drilling the wall for the expansion bolts. Heat or smash expansion bolt head with hammer to reach its desired surface level on the wall. Attach galvanized framing channel by expansion bolts. Install grounding rod. The precast handhold should have 20mm hole provision before concrete pouring. This is where the grounding rod will be located. Attach conductor strap from the frame to the grounding rod location. Nailing the conductor strap secured its attachment on the wall. Fix the strap on the grounding rod by clamp. Install the cable racking arms to the frame. These are the accessories looks like inside the handhold. Clean the handhold and close the handhold lid before leaving. After a hard work from a lot of people, we have finished product. One handhold installed. I want to thank you for watching my handhold construction training video. If you have any questions and suggestions, please leave a comment. Have a very safe day.